Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? So I want to talk to you this morning under the large umbrella of ignoring your reality and focusing on your potential. People will be, you know, eager, will be quick, will be first on the draw to tell you to get real. You don't need to get real. What you need to do is to get focused and to get inspired, to get enlightened and to get intelligent. Focused, inspired, enlightened and intelligent. Knowing that where you are is not where you have to be. And I'm talking about the people, or I'm talking to the people who have ambition. If you don't have ambition, I, I, I really can't stoke you to into action. But if you have ambition, and by that I mean that if you look at any situation in your life uh, that's on a level and you, you take a deep breath and sigh and, oh, why me? I shouldn't have to go through this. I'm better than this. I can change this. I don't want this. This is what I want. If you ever feel that, if you ever make a plan, but you don't follow through it, if you ever have aspirations, if you ever set goals, if you ever write them down, or if you ever um, kind of immerse yourself into anything that is achievement-based, that is next level based, you are the person that I'm talking to. And I'm telling you to don't listen to people telling you to get real. You don't need to get real. As I say before, you need to get inspired. You need to get focused. You need to get intelligent and enlightened. There's something called enlightened self-love. And it's above the regular love that we were, were so anxious to give ourselves. That is tied to common pleasures. You know, we say, oh, we love ourselves. I love myself. I'm going to um, look pretty today. I love myself. I'm going to buy myself this stuff. I love myself. I'm not going to um, give them my last dollar or stuff like that. That is love. Okay, fine. I have no issues with that. But I'm talking about enlightened self-love. And enlightened self-love kind of stoke you to love your future self. Future self meaning you looking at yourself now and saying, okay, what am I doing now? And how will that benefit me later? How will that tie into my purpose and my goals? Because a lot of times we have goals, but they are empty. Empty goals will drain your life. Empty goals will bring you down. Empty goals will eventually get you into what they call the hedonistic adaptation loop. Where you want six, you get six, then suddenly six doesn't look so attractive, you want eight. So suddenly eight doesn't look so attractive, you want nine. You know, as the saying goes, a kid is happier on Christmas morning in anticipation of his toys than he is Christmas evening after he's busy, you know, I've played with his toys and I've enjoyed them for a bit. And we're human beings, we are like that. I heard one guy that I listened to, powerful guy, said that all he wanted to be, all he wanted to have was a million dollars to become a millionaire. He never realized that he had a million dollars until he had four million dollars. Then he stopped and said, hey, damn, I can't believe what happened. How come um, I was sleeping all this time and I passed one, went to two, three, four, and he just immediately took a four-month vacation. Because a lot of times we say we want this goal or we want that goal and we get to that goal and we just browse over it because, they, as I said, there's this thing they call hedonistic adaptation where we, we it, it plays out and we want the next thing. So... You don't have to focus on the huge thing that you want. You need to focus on the steps that you need to take. And what is is what gets most people, and I've been talking about this for a couple of days now, is that people are trying to do 15 different things and people are trying to do new things, are trying to find a hack or strategy. And that pretty much take them circling the same mountain over and over again. The gold, the, the power is in the repetition and the ability to push yourself through that boring stuff. To stand up and do that bar 15, 20, 25 times. To take 50 takes. To run 10 miles. To try to lift 100 pounds and can't make it to the full extent. Uh, 
25 times, seven days in the gym, seven months after. It is the pushing through the boring stuff, the repetitive stuff, the thing that you don't really want to do, that you know is necessary. Because I often say that, not because it's your passion, not because it's something you love, mean you're going to always motivate it, be motivated and always love everything about it. You're not going to. Some of the, 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 the greatest athletes, who have to go through tremendous um, varied trainings in the gym and outside there and open, have exercises, exercises that they hate. That's how it is. There will be the tough things, the important things that you don't like, but you have to push through. So you're gonna get enlightened. You're gonna get intelligent. You're gonna get focused, forget the reality aspect because we don't wanna look at our reality. We want to look at our potential and how we can get there. And the next thing I'll tell you about that is that there's no great moment as Martin says. There is seizing common moments and making them great. Paying into your future every day. The run that you're taking, the, the things that you're writing, the videos that you're doing, the product that you're making, the ad that you're trying that you're not getting any result from, the business that you're hammering away at and it's not coming together, that you can't see where it's going to go. That's what's important. That's what's going to take you to another place, a bigger place. You know, one of the biggest business I've ever been involved in, you know, started from cupcakes going to offices before we went to work and dropping off $10 or $5 cupcakes just selling to the people. Now, those are nickels and dimes. Nobody cares. Like, you don't think that's going to make you much money. It adds up to something, but it's not any life-changing income. But by doing that, it opened up door. We got into different channels. We got um, the connection with different people. People start to ask, ask us because we're doing it every day consistently for four years. We're just at it, at it, at it. And though we couldn't see where it's going to go, we appreciated the fact that we were in business and we were doing business and maybe somebody will say hey I want a hundred I want 200 we don't know we never saw it happening but it took us to another place so the important thing is to get started and to believe in something to have faith in a process that eludes so much of us so it is so difficult for the common guy the average person the regular Joe or the regular Jane to take up something at its smallest point and to hammer away at it, look at that small, absorb that small, experience that small, get vilified, get judged on that small for two, three, four years and continue. Most people will stop. The average person won't push through. But in a winner's heart, in a champion's mind, in a powerful, goal-driven, um, hardcore, hustler, dream chaser mentality. He knows that despite everything that's happening out there, he or she knows that despite everything that's happening out there, everything, anything somebody else is saying, they believe in themselves to make it happen. And most of people say, yeah, hey, they're born with self-confidence. They can do it. They have parents who lift them up. Tell you what. We all have confidence. Confidence we can cultivate. We all have the ability to cultivate that confidence. And part of that confidence comes from competence. And competence in, is inextricably linked to doing the work, putting out the effort, paying the dues, doing the time, adding the months, the years to it, putting yourself out there, getting those rituals and habits. Once you are competent, you will, it is easier for you to build the confidence because you no doubt go out there and see somebody. If you're driven, you'll go out there and see somebody doing it at a much lower level and to show you that, hey, I can do it better. And one day you're probably doing it in obscurity, like one artist in Jamaica known as Gullibar, and somebody will put that video up and your life will change, but you, because you are doing it. So forget this reality. Don't let anybody tell you to get real. What you need to get is to get focused, get intelligent, get enlightened, and get inspired. Have a good day. It's beautiful talking to you. Subscribe to my YouTube.